We are at the PDAC 2013 in Toronto, but with me now is the executive director of another fantastic conference, the IPMI, JP Rosso. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for having me. So as executive director of IPMI, you've come to PDAC. What have you come to, to see, JP? I have come to see the primary source of all precious metals, which is the mining industry. Whether it's gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium, the rest of the PGMs, everything starts coming out of the ground. So this is a great group for the IPMI to be part of. Right, so IPMI, International Precious Metals Institute. Tell us a little bit about the Institute for our viewers uh, who are new to it. We are an almost 40-year-old group of miners, refiners, fabricators, bankers, traders, uh, everybody literally in the world who is involved in precious metals, auto manufacturers, petroleum companies, etc. because all of these industries depend upon the precious metals to move their products through the marketplace. JP, uh, th your, your conference takes place in, in June, correct? Correct. Who are some of the keynote speakers we can expect? Uh, Frank McAllister, CEO of Stillwater Mine, will be giving a presentation on mine sustainability. Uh, Pierre Quilliam of uh, Silver Falcon will be giving a presentation on permitting uh, a new mining operation within the United States. We're going to have an entire panel dedicated to conflict minerals and the impact of the Dodd-Frank Act, right. which is going to hit everybody. JP, what do you think are going to be some of the major themes uh, confronting the industry this year and that will be addressed at IPMI? Uh, some of the biggest themes are going to be sustainability, environmental controls, taxation, monetary regulations that are going to be impacting literally every sector of the precious metals. It's no longer going to be confined just to the refining end as the receiver. It's going to go all the way back through the entire supply chain, all the way to the mining sources themselves. So we're at the PDAC. Uh, what do you think is the sentiment that you're sensing right now in the mining industry? Would you say optimistic, pessimistic? Uh, largely pessimistic from the standpoint of there is so much uncertainty in so many parts of the globe. You have so many companies here who have invested hundreds of millions of dollars to develop a project in Africa or in other parts of the world and they are seeing these investments now being jeopardized by changes in government, changes in contractual obligations. But at the root, there is still an optimism because our entire modern society is dependent upon precious metals, either for electronics, for pharmaceuticals, for fuels. There is no part of our life that is not impacted by precious metals, so they've got to continue to be mined. Good thoughts from you today, JP. Finally, if someone is interested in joining the IPMI or attending the conference, how can they go about it? Easy. Go to our website, ipmi.org. We look forward to attending and covering the show. So thank you so much, JP. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching our continuous coverage from PDAC 2013. We'll have more videos for you on Kitco.com. In the meantime, you can email us any comments or questions at newsfeedback at or tweet me at Daniela Cambone. Thanks for watching.